Amen. Praise the Lord. Today's word of the day. Today's word of the day comes from the book of Psalms, chapter 18, verse 32. Psalm 18, verse 32. Praise the Lord. It is God who arms me with strength and makes my way perfect. Amen. Praise the Lord. It is God who arms me with strength and makes my way perfect. Praise the Lord. Two things in this short psalm right here, this short sentence. It is God whom, where our strength comes from. And the ability to go through and walk with him all the way to the promised land is only by his strength and not by our own. And making our way perfect can only be done by God because we cannot do it perfectly on our own. What a wonderful thing. It's really God who does it all. And there's plenty of evidence. As a matter of fact, there's an almost an identical verse in the book of 2 Samuel, chapter 22, 33. God is my strength and power, and he makes my way perfect. Praise the Lord. Confirmation of that word. Isaiah 45, verse 5. God says, I am the Lord and there is no other. There is no God besides me. I will gird you though you have not known me. Amen. Praise the Lord. And how is this significant? Because the truth is, before we knew God, and even when we first got saved, we didn't really know him. We experienced him, but we don't really know his ways. We don't know his personality. We don't know his love and mercy until we go through everything we go through. But it doesn't matter. Even when we didn't understand, he is the one who held us up and brought us as far as he's brought us today. And he will not stop because that's who he is. It's him and him alone. Praise the Lord. Jesus said in John 15, 5, I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit, for without me, you can do nothing. We can't save ourselves. We can't do it on our own strength. We cannot be perfect. We need him to be the one living through us. That's how we go. That's how we find the promised land of rest in him. Once we've totally rested from our own works, our own trying to be good, our own trying to do all kinds of things. And we let go is when he gives us strength and makes our way perfect. Praise the Lord. Second Corinthians chapter three, verse five. Not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think of anything as being from ourselves, but our sufficiency is from God. Amen. Praise the Lord. And for 2 Corinthians 4, 7, but we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellence of the power may be of God and not of us. Amen. Praise the Lord. You see, God will show us if we don't already understand it. The truth is that he'll show us that if we try to do all this stuff and try to show power and excellence, we're going to come to the revelation that in us, that is our flesh, there is no good thing. And it's going to be his power and his goodness and his righteousness living through us that makes us holy, sanctified, set apart, and ready for his good use. Praise the Lord. And of course, as it says in Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. It's only through him that we can face anything. Being tortured in a prison doesn't matter if we are resting in him we can do it all. Praise the Lord. Well, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this reminder, Lord, that it's you and you alone. There is no other, and we cannot claim righteousness on our own. And if we think we haven't, we ask you to search our hearts and then reveal it to us until we come to total confidence in you and zero confidence in ourselves. And that's where we'll find rest for our soul. You will give us your strength. We will run like gazelles and like dear and be in your strength and your, you will change the world through us. And we thank you that. Thank you that that's what you're going to do in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. And that is our word of the day. Praise the Lord. Amen.